Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And I'm back with another gardening project. So today, I have some beautiful sunny knockout rose standards. So they are grafted onto a uh, kind of tree trunks, <laughs> for lack of better term, to plant in my new pots. So my mom bought me these for my birthday. Thanks mom. I had been trying to decide with my little hedge over here if I wanted some flower pots or something simple that will flower all season. Um, and I played around with the idea of limelight hydrangeas, but I thought they might get too big and they won't flower continuously. Um, we looked at some gardenias, but again, those only bloom once a year. I looked at some topiaries because I thought some topiaries, some little cones or the three tiered boxwoods might look cute in front of the raised garden beds, but we settled on knockout roses because they will stay fairly tidy if you trim them but they will also bloom almost all season long you know they'll come out with a bunch of blooms we'll trim them back they'll bloom again and it'll just have buds 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 all season long and while i have my rose of sharon that is pink my hydrangeas that are pink my uh texas sage that are purple these are beautiful butter yellow so it'll give me just a little pop of yellow over here and we'll see I'm just going to go ahead and plant them today we'll have to very loosely level the ground under them we're going to run drip to them and then we're going to plant them water them in really good I watered them two days ago when I got them and they were bone dry and they're bone dry again and when I watered them I mean I filled the pots like a third of the way up with water and let them drink from the bottom they drank it all up and they are bone dry again two days later so they definitely need out of these pots in some good fluffy soil with some constant water we will go ahead and pop out the drain plugs in the bottom of these pots so they can freely drain we're gonna have to see depending on how these do they might need feet under the pots to drain properly I'm not sure yet but they are 15 inch wide pots, um, so they are definitely big enough for these topiaries, but they are not overly big. So I may just ever have these in. I may put some little flowers around them at some point. I, I haven't decided yet. Since these were a birthday present, I wasn't really 100% planning this part of the project yet. So. We're gonna go ahead and get started because I want to do it while it's still fairly shady over here. Um, it's fairly late in the afternoon and uh, I just wanna kind of get them in the, I keep wanting to say in the ground, but in their pots. So let's get to work. Got some rose tone for them. I have this all this stuff to put drip to the pots. And the only thing I'm not sure about is if I'm gonna need a bigger shovel to kind of level things. Let's see. all right so we got everything leveled the only thing i don't love is just that this is a hill so putting everything on a hill means we're gonna kind of have stair steps instead of you know having it all on one surface but honestly it still looks beautiful so i'm not worried about it i think they're gonna be great especially once they start blooming um i did run out of potting soil or Dirt. so I need just a little bit more for this guy roses though do not like the crown of the plant to be covered so you don't want to put so much dirt on top of them that you're burying that crown but we do want the root ball here buried and you might have noticed that I forgot to put my rose tone in till the end good job Betsy so I just went ahead and put a few handfuls on top, watered it in, and then I'll put the, the new dirt on top. But 
Got them in, got them watered. You can see we do have some new buds forming. So we will have at least a few pretty roses soon. And these are a more open, I'll put a picture up on the screen of at the nursery, what they looked like before we had to cut off all the, the spent blooms, but they're open, more buttery yellow blossom as opposed to the tighter knockout pink roses I have in front of the house. So I'm very excited about them. We got them hooked up to drip. You can see we, uh, we tapped in here and I went ahead and I got my Rose of Sharon tapped in as well because I'd been meaning to do that. And voila! I may top these with uh, some moss or something at some point instead of planting them or under planting them with flowers since the root ball and the crown of those plant doesn't like to have too much dirt on top and these are smaller pots. I don't know that I'll ever have enough space um, to plant flowers under them without endangering the roses, but I'm okay with that. They're fairly small plants and the plants all around them should get right up to them big, like the hydrangeas and the Texas sage. They may even need to come forward eventually, but for this year, I'm pretty happy with it. I did cut the drip tubes for them extra long, so if I need to move them around a bit, I have space to do that. Um, the other thing I might do is I did, when I placed the bench here, have to dig down and put brick uh, concrete pavers under each of the feet so that it was sturdy and won't move or sink into the mud. Um, I may need to do that with both of the pots, put a circular paver underneath so that they do not uh, become unlevel or fall or tip over. So either way, I hope you guys liked this video. I'm very excited to see how they do, but I, I really like them here. And especially this year when our our hydrangeas, our Rose of Sharon, and our Texas sages are all still small. I mean, the Texas sages are completely hidden by the rose standards right now, and eventually they'll be six feet tall. So, you know, for this year especially, it gives me a little bit of height over here. And then if, if eventually those big bushes outgrow the small standards, I can always move them down on either side of the shed or something. I, I have other places I could put them. So I'm very excited. And thank you, Mom, for my birthday present. I love them. Bye, y'all.